Hi there, welcome back for another lesson. In this lesson, we will be talking about equivalent resistance. So we've talked about uh, resistors and resistance before, and we know that resistance is the ability of a component to slow down the electricity and basically make the electrons work really, really hard so they can give up some of their energy. And we convert that energy either into heat or light or anything or sound or anything else that we need. So it can be useful sometimes when we have very complex um, circuits to calculate what the total resistance or equivalent resistance is. And the reason would be, let's say I have a circuit like this, like this one that has three resistors. Well, maybe I want to simplify my setup and only use one resistor. But which resistor am I supposed to use to replace these three that don't have the same value? So there is a way to calculate it. And you can see it on the right hand side here. So when we have a circuit that is in series, if you recall in series, that means that all the components are consecutive. They're plugged one after the other, and there's only one pathway. So if we take these three resistors, all we need to do is add up their values. So it says here R equivalent. We also say sometimes R total. Um, R equivalent is equal to the value of R1 plus the value of R2 plus the value of R3 plus the value of any other resistors that would be present in the circuit. So in this case, we'd be adding 5 plus 10 plus 15. That would give us 30 ohms. So I could take away all three resistors and only put one resistor in this whole setup as long as my one resistor has a value of 30 ohms the setup would be exactly the same, would accomplish the same work as having three separate resistors of values 5, 10, and 15. Okay, so when we have a circuit in series, that's the way, the way we do it. When we have a circuit in parallel, it's a little bit more complex mathematically speaking. So this is what it looks like. So we have... This is the equation, so I'll, I'll, well, let's take a look at the circuit first. So we have our parallel circuit, so we have the same three resistors, but they are in parallel with each other, so that means the current splits over here at the first node. The current can either go here, or it can choose to go through the second branch, or it can choose to go through the third branch, right? So we have nodes every time the current splits, and we have nodes every time the current, the various currents merge. So if we have three uh, resistors in parallel and we wanted to simplify this setup and, and only have one resistor, so let's say I wanted to get rid of all of this and just keep this resistor, but I want to know what value this resistor should have to be equivalent to this whole setup, this whole original setup. So what would I do? Well, you have it here on the right-hand side. So the uh, mathematical equation, the setup, is 1 over R equivalent is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over as many resistors as you have. Now, if we replace with the values that were in my setup here, I'd have 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 15. Now, if you're doing this by hand, you have the calculation, that is, you have to find the common, the smallest common um, denominator, which is 30 in this case. Now, probably most of you will be using a calculator. It makes sense. Why should we break our heads? So we don't need to basically do this whole calculation. We can just input it in our calculator. But... The thing is, when you press the equal sign, what you get is 1 over R equivalent. You don't get just R equivalent. You get 1 over R. And that's not what we want. We want the actual value of the total resistance. So what we get essentially is this. 1 over R equivalent is equal to 11 over 30. But again, that's not what we want. We don't want 1 over R. We just want R. So what we can do is flip the equation. So R equivalent goes on top, 30 goes on top, 11 goes at the bottom, or we can just cross multiply 30 times 1 divided by 11, and that comes out to the same. So whether you cross multiply this version or you flip the whole thing and you calculate 30 divided by 11, you'll get the same answer. It just depends on what you're most comfortable with. And that would give you a resistance of 2.73 ohms. Okay, so you could replace this whole setup by one resistor, of a value with a value of 2.73 ohms and that would be equivalent to having a setup with three resistors of values 10, 
5 and 15. It would do the same job. Okay, so that's how you calculate R equivalent. All right, so that's it for now. If you have questions, please don't be shy and ask. And otherwise, I'll see you around for your next lesson. And until then, take care.